Welcome back to Cities XXL by O'Shea Lennox. I am currently going through the tutorial and I am down to the last one. And welcome and thank you again. Please, if you like it, leave leave a message. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you will, please. All right, like I was saying, the, we are on Metro Lines now. And you all know who watched the rest of my videos know that once it for this thing first comes up, I pretty much skip through all of the little momentary little talking that's going on and get directly to what the problem is, to the instructions. So if at any time you wanted to, you can go back and um, check that out for yourself to read all this little thing, this thing right here, what I'm talking about, I just skipped through all of it. Because they want us to be a metro line because they saying they have some city issues. So what we're going to do, we go to transportation, then traffic. Go to transportation, then traffic, see, see where the trouble spots are. And as you can see, the trouble spots is this road right here. Right here, coming back to here. But the only thing about this, this is high tech jobs. This little area right here is high tech jobs. And those people in high tech jobs, they don't really care about metros unless they really don't have another option. And with that being said, and so basically we're going to connect. See, this is the um, high interest, this is for the low skill. I'm sorry, excuse me, as a scale worker. Now, they'll take a bus. This is down to very bad. I wonder what this is all about. But nevertheless, we may get to that. Okay, so it says, as you know, red, heavy traffic, green, very little traffic, yellow, minimum traffic. Okay, it says red, blah, blah. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to have to come over here to our transportation, public, and want to throw in a, what that, try to and get a, a metro company. So this is metro company, and we're going to put it alongside the road where it needs to be the most. Interesting thing, this thing does not even need to be attached. You don't have to run any of the um, metro stations back to it, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to put it right about here, on this road right here. I don't think it affects traffic or anything. Now that we have that, now once you have the metro, um, station put in now you have to come back over here and choose whether well, that's the metro company now you have to choose a metro station and as you can see this metro station basically what you do you start putting the metro station where you want it to be and the good thing about them you don't have to come you don't have to create a complete circle <coughs> excuse me in order for in order for the um to connect the to connect it and make it a com and make it start operating you just basically start putting <coughs> excuse me you start putting your stations where you want them to be and just remember the areas that are affected the most. Now, here's the thing. Whenever you're creating your city, make sure you leave a lot of room in these like, inner areas also. Because, see, here's the thing. The only thing that restrains putting down your terminals, your, your metro terminals, is the fact that there's no room inside there. So, let's say if you want to get inside that city and make it and get those connected to the bus you can't barely do it because you don't have any room to, to place it's give it to place the thing so I'm just 
continue on the outside of it. And I'm going to put one, even though they don't really care much about it, I'm going to put one right there in the, um, in the high-tech area jobs. But now here's the area where you really need them. This, this is high industry. This is for the low, low income people. Okay. I think that's going to do it. I tell you what, let me take this all the way back up to. Let's take it all the way back up to. And I know y'all noticed that lag, and I'm sorry about that. I just don't know what. I have to. See about that in some future. I have to upgrade my heart, my hardware. Which I will put a link below showing what type of hardware that I do have. Okay. Now when you're ready to close that line, you just duck, you just click on the last. You just simply click on the last um terminal you put down. And yeah, you have to put them on rows, as you know. Okay, ensure you have enough free space on the ground. Like I was telling you, whenever you building your city, make sure you put a lot of space in between everything. And it's good for future upgrades also. So before you place line, don't forget where you saw the... And I also skip something, because normally, right here in this area right here, it should have lit up green. And right here it should have lit up green, but I've done I've been through this tutorial at least three times already. Okay, my well here it is, here's showing. So as you can see I've already put some terminals here, terminal there, terminal there, and one there. And I went all the way around there. So so that's the residential quarter. Now it's going to show what a <coughs> now it's going to show you where the resident go to work. The unskilled go to work right here. So I got that. So I have that covered. Now it says build a metro line across the residential quarters. And the good thing about it, whenever you're dealing your metro lines in this particular case, it automatically draws it as you place your um as you place your terminals on the ground. Now, I didn't zoom in, say so now I want you to click on that, which I've already done. Okay, now once done, click again. So I got ahead of myself. <coughs> Excuse me. I got ahead of myself. Now I want me to click on this thing again. <coughs> Excuse me, say, okay, then draw the metro line freely. I got a little bit ahead of, my ahead of myself, but what we're going to do, we're going to create another bus line. Which is supposed to be coming up in a later part, but we're going to click starting right here, where this one is, and we're going to take this one. over here now I found it interesting in order to make this thing work well over here you see it's turning red that means we're gonna have to hold down the shift key so I'm gonna hold the shift key and I'm gonna come up not too far up. let me change my oh no I'm about to come back up out of the ground some more Okay.
just trying to come back out from underground. I went too deep underground with that. I want to start bringing it up slowly. I click again. Oh shoot. Update. Sorry about that people. Let me get back to the game. Now Oh, I know what happened. Okay, that's good that happened. Let me let me come from this route with it. Click there. Now I'm going to go over here. Now I'm going to go over here. That's good. Now I click on the city there. It only it really only takes two of these to completely cover that. But I give it. And that's all he's going to get is two. So you come back over here and you click on the last one you're done. And voila. Now, did I put a. Look at that. I put a terminal right there. That's crazy. But here's the other thing about it. If you delete one thing, you delete the whole entire line. So I'm just going to leave that there. But know this. Don't do this at home. <laughs> Try to get it right. But the train is, train is moving. Okay, I'll speed my game up to four. Okay, so th that is easy to stop. A line can have 20 stations. No more. Okay, the more stop you put, the more can get more people will get on the train, the more money. But it creates a lot of train traffic, it creates a lot of train stops, which will bore people to death, and they don't want to have to go through all that. So it's good to get the right amount of. It's good to get the right amount of stops. But you'll figure it out as you go along. Okay, now when others will do. So only if, oh, the elites, like I said, the elites will only take this thing if, if ne take public transportation if necessary. Okay. When you draw a metro line, it works in both directions. So look, you only draw one line, and that line goes in both directions. It's bi-directional. There's no need to make a loop, and you don't have to make a loop. That's very good. Now, it's showing you how metros can go under or over each other. You just kind of have to hold the control key down and use the mouse up or down. Hold the, the shift key, my bad. And beware, it is impossible to destroy a piece of line. You have to destroy the whole line. So, look, be careful when you get to planning this thing. Because if you mess up, you lose that whole entire line. Okay, now let's place a second line, which we've already done. we placed two lines, so I got to head on myself. So what I'm going to actually have to do is come in here and actually have to place another line. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. And basically what you do, you come over here, you click on this one, and you go to the last one you were working with. So, well, you don't have to go to the last one. So I want that line from there over here to this side right here so that way it's fully covered now I'm double click on that and there it is that's another line so you know you right click anywhere to um, uncheck anything you're doing making multiple lines through a station can help provide people who need trains okay right click okay in the display window you can see the status of each and display one that you can see the status of each line. Okay, and circle between them to see them up close. Okay, and here it is. Here's the public transportation. It also shows for buses and metro. We're going to look at metro there. You can see I have three lines. Okay, my first line, I believe this one blue. And each one of them is individually co colored. The first line is blue. 
Our second line is yellow, which have nobody on it. And the third line is green, which surprisingly has 5% use. As short as it is, short of a line as it, as it is. They could be telling me something, make short lines. Okay. But with that being said and done, we will... So that reminds me, so when you land down the metro station and send down your terminal, you can put a terminal leading directly into the city. Okay, this says something about double-decker buses. They hold more people, much more expensive, middle buses, and then you got the smaller buses. You all can read that anytime you want, but you have your three types of buses. And you can fine-tune this thing here to a certain extent. It's nothing on the level of Sim City or, or um, Cities in Motion. Nothing. They give you very fine control. This one doesn't. Okay. We're going to come over here, and it wants us to look at transportation metro lines. Okay, metro lines. See, you can see the colors of them. Three different colors. Okay, we want to see the metro traffic. Well, as you all know, green means very light. Yellow means they're using it. Orange means they're using it more. And what is it? Red means they are full. Metro company, metro station. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, now what it wants us to do is we want to go back and see how the traffic has changed since we've added the train since we added the metro in. This isn't quite as red as it was, as you all can see earlier. This isn't quite as red as Arizona, quite as red as they are. That's good. Um, that metro is yellow, so they mean they are using it. Not he over heavily used, but it's being quite it's being used. And these areas are all green. This still look red. This isn't as red as it was, so it's actually working. Great, great, great. Okay, now we're going through all this blah 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 at the end at the end of the thing. Okay, people, that is it. That was Metro Lines. If you need any help with it, leave leave me a comment in the um leave me a comment in the um in my comment section. Subscribe and like and share please. Alrighty. This has concluded the tutorials of Cities XXL. Now the next thing I'll be starting on is building up a city, if not multiple cities, to metro policies. Just to see the full scope of what the game has to offer where it may it's gonna be I don't know about the complete full scope because there's a lot of content being added to this thing all the time. So there's a lot of things I won't cover unless um you send me some send me some comments and let me know what you would like for me to cover like to see and when i if i get around to it i feel like it really feel feeling like it i will do me a video of my impressions of this game because i have a few i have a few thoughts on this game some good some not so good but that's all for right now. Thank you. And you have a blessed night. Or a blessed day or whenever you see this video.